This video will show pilots how to fly a VOR approach by reviewing a VOR approach plate and how to navigate the approach using a CDI needle. Learning how to navigate using a VOR is an important skill for any aviator. Private pilots working on their instrument rating may be asked to demonstrate how to fly a VOR approach on their instrument check ride. Learn how to read a VOR approach plate so you can ace your instrument check ride or next flight review. This is the VOR approach to runway 32 right at Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington. Notice the frequency for the Moses Lake VOR is 115.0 and the approach course is 325. To fly this VOR approach, we would intercept the 145 radial on a heading of 280. Notice the profile view in the bottom of the chart. The Pelly NDB is the locator outer marker and the initial approach fix is 6 miles from the Moses Lake VOR. The pilot would need to remain within 10 nautical miles of the Moses Lake VOR and maintain a minimum altitude of 2,800 feet as shown. The minimum safe altitude at the initial approach fix of the Pelly NDB is 2,600 feet. The edge of the runway is 4.7 nautical miles from the approach fix at the Pelly NDB. Notice the missed approach procedure highlighted by the orange arrow in the chart. To execute the missed approach, the pilot would need to make a climbing right turn to 4,000 feet to intercept the 054 radial of the Moses Lake VOR and intercept the holding pattern at Batum which is 9.8 miles from the Moses Lake VOR. The minimum descent altitude for this VOR approach is 1,620 feet and the runway visual range is 2,400 feet. Notice the touchdown zone elevation for the Grant County International Airport is 1,167 feet. The minimum descent altitude of 1,620 feet less the touchdown zone elevation of 1,167 feet equals the decision height of 453 feet. The pilot would need to execute the missed approach if the runway was not in sight at the time of reaching the decision altitude. Let's simulate flying the VOR approach to runway 32 right at Grant County International Airport. We will show what it looks like flying the VOR approach on both the inbound and outbound radials. Tune in the VOR approach frequency, which in this case is 115.0, and switch it to the active frequency. Turn the OBS knob to 145. Notice how the two from indicator shows from and the CDI needle is centered because the airplane is on course. Turn the OBS for the CDI needle to the approach course of 325. Notice the CDI needle is flying towards the 325 radial of the Moses Lake VOR so the two slash from indicator is now showing two. When the CDI is turned to a heading of 145 the CDI needle will deflect in the same direction as the airplane and the pilot should fly away from the needle. This is what it looks like to fly a localizer back course approach. When we turn the CDI needle back to a heading of 325 the CDI needle deflects in the opposite direction of the aircraft's course. This means the pilot is to the right of course and needs to fly towards the needle to the left. Notice how the two slash from indicator now shows a two indication. Each dot on the CDI needle indicates roughly two degrees so each side of the approach course is 10 degrees as illustrated by the white lines. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to fly a VOR approach. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training videos and aviation related topics.